The skin is a very important part of the body structure. Its function is to help avoid damage to the body from outside influences. In this way, the skin protects the body from water loss and from injury due to bumps, chemicals, sunlight or microorganisms. Helps control body temperature. It is a sensor to inform the brain of changes in the immediate environment and synthesizes with vitamin D. The focus today is to help you know your skin type. My name is Israel Mainsagota and this is Good Living Ghana. So to determine your skin type, follow these steps. Wash your face to remove dirt and makeup. Wash with a gentle cleanser and pat dry. This cleans away oils and dirt that may have accumulated during your day, giving your skin a fresh start. Do not overwash though. Wait for 30 minutes. During this time, your skin should return to its normal state, the characteristics of which will determine your skin type. Act normally and don't touch your face. Dab your face with a tissue. Pay attention to the T-zone, that is the area of your forehead and nose. Now, skin falls into four types, that is normal, oily, dry and combination. So look out for the following and determine your skin type. Normal skin is not too dry, not too oily, it has no or few imperfections, no severe sensitivity, barely visible pores and a radiant complexion. It should feel supple and smooth, if you have it, consider yourself lucky. Oily skin is characterized by the grease on the tissue. It has enlarged pores, dull or shiny and thick complexion, blackheads, pimples or other blemishes. Dry skin has almost visible pores, dull or rough complexion, red patches, less elasticity and more visible lines. When exposed to drying factors, skin can crack, peel or become itchy, irritated or inflamed. If your skin is dry, it can become rough and scaly, especially on the back of your hands, arms and legs. Combination skin can be dry or normal in some areas and oily elsewhere such as the T-zone, that is the nose, forehead and chin. It can produce overly dilated pores, blackheads and shiny skin. And then there's aged skin. This type of skin is found majorly on the elder's body, mostly dry with lines and wrinkles with loss of moisture. So there you have it. Let us know in the comment section your type of skin. If we get satisfied with the feedback of this video, we will continue this skincare training and show you how to make your own natural organic skincare products.